Hey everyone, it's Sam, and today is Friday, September 22nd. I was listening to the radio, and it was, oh, I, I listened to Light FM, and I think Paul Cubby Bryant was saying that today is the last uh, full day of summer, which is kind of exciting for me. I enjoy summertime because that means I'm off, but the temperatures... I get overheated really easily and the weather is still kind of that like it's cold in the morning but it's hot in the afternoon and so the temperatures should cool down. Unfortunately the weather this weekend is not supposed to be that great. A lot of rain and wind from the storms um, but I'm excited nonetheless because we have Monday off for Yom Kippur and just gonna be home all weekend. Uh, maybe go to the mall or something but those places are probably going to be packed because everybody's thinking that um i got here the most exciting part of right now is it's become such a good morning when i get here in a reasonable amount of time i got here in about 45 minutes which was awesome and then there was a spot right in front of the building which I still can't believe it. I'm parked, I'm here, and it's not even like 7.05 yet. And my makeup is done. I just finished my makeup. I wanted to share with you my current routine, and I'm all about, oh gosh, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, uh, that's normal video, right? I was about to do my hair, but then I thought I'll share with you my current makeup routine. And right now, I'm just trying to use a bunch of stuff up, and I will point out the ones that are my favorites. But hold on one second, I gotta pick up that thing that fell. Uh, the first, the first product I'm going to share with you is a primer. It's the Lancome one. It's really silky. Uh, then I put on a concealer. And this is one from Timu. Uh, I had gotten two colors. One was medium and this is natural. I thought natural was also too yellow. But I really like it. And you don't need that much. Um, the thing though is this part has started to break. I don't know if you could see that. The quality, it looks beautiful. The quality though of the packaging is starting to show itself. Uh, but I love the concealer. I would definitely repurchase this. Uh, they tend to leave really yellow, just warning. Uh, and then I put on a powder. I don't do full foundation. I just don't want to bring. I like my favorite way to put on foundation is a beauty blender. And I'm not going to come here and wet it and all that stuff. Uh, it Cosmetics Celebration. Celebration foundation illumination and I could wear it by itself if I'm in a time crunch look how much I have left and I use the color medium another favorite And then I go in with blush. This is just one that I picked out. Um, it's the elf blush palette This one is the dark one. I don't know if they still make this uh, before beautiful different colors And then mascara is next and I use uh it's not CoverGirl Lash Blast. It's the Maybelline Sky High, of course, waterproof. Like this mascara. And then for eyebrows, I use the It Cosmetics Brow Powerful. And this is one of my favorites as well. So lots of favorites. I would repurchase um, most of those except for the primer. And then this is just a setting spray of the day. I use, I mean, this is I'm trying to use up. Uh, but I love setting sprays. This one I wouldn't repurchase. I like their original one, the black bottle one, the e.l.f. Mistin spray or Mistin set. This one is gimmicky. It says uh, stay all day blue light. Uh, but that's my makeup. I'm about to do my hair. I'm feeling really good because I got here in a good time. A for me it's still traffic but it was we were flying and it was good and then I found a spot which is it's really stressful if there's traffic on top of not being able to find the spot so I'm so glad that both of those things are out of the way yesterday though we had I think seven poop accidents and I'm concerned that we might have a stomach virus because I wasn't feeling that great when I got home like I had to use the bathroom a few times I know TMI um, but I'm feeling good right now and I will try to wear if we have more accidents I'll try to wear a mask probably won't but I definitely will wear gloves because uh, it was just terrible yesterday terrible but hopefully we'll have a great day today uh, we even have a few students that are going to be out which always if you're in education you know it makes life a lot easier sometimes when there's a few kids or more out
Okay, I'm gonna do my hair and then probably go inside a little bit earlier because I'm here so early. Took a late night trip to Target. It's after 10 p.m. Um, and I didn't film anything all day, I apologize. Uh, but when I got home, I just kind of took a nap and then traffic was okay. You know, it wasn't great, but I got home before 3.30, which was amazing. Uh, I went to Target for these two things. That's it. And I got so much more. These were comparable in price to Amazon. Usually Amazon is cheaper, but I think they were about the same uh, for that amount anyway. And then this is my absolute favorite sparkling water. I think I've mentioned this before. It's the Target brand. It tastes like soda to me or, or as much like soda as it can compared to all the other uh, brands. And then I got this, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this coffee actually. I'm looking at it. Stoke. Uh, black extra bold I've tried this brand it's pretty good and we uh, we still like iced coffee around here uh, even though the weather's starting to get a little bit colder but not for me I was when we were when we we're driving the car just now I was sweating so much uh, this is international delight sweet and creamy I like this brand better than uh, what's the other popular one I can't it's at the tip of my tongue I can't think of it uh, but that's one of my favorite flavors it's more of a recent favorite but I would purchase as many times I also like from this brand uh, the caramel macchiato which I'm using currently and then French vanilla is good too then uh, Target was having a sale on the Trabani flips cookies and cream salted caramel crunch which that sounds so good i love caramel and then strawberry cheesecake we also got the s'mores uh for my sister this one's for steve these two are for me uh soap refills uh this is for the bathrooms and then this one is for uh the kitchen since it has a citrus scent and then i saw these which i'm so excited about i have a couple of highlighters from ColourPop uh slash target uh this is two blushes this one is cosmopolitan i haven't swatched it yet i'm pretty excited i love the packaging and then this one is wish me luck and we also got um steve picked out some other sparkling water uh that he likes and that's my small target haul i'm going to change to my pjs we're going to walk the dog before it really starts raining and hopefully it won't be that bad that bad this weekend you just don't know with the weather um but we got our target fix in for today and I'll see you later. I was really curious about how the blushes would swatch um, but first I want to show you the packaging it's super cute um, but I'm kind of disappointed uh, they were kind of powdery especially the lighter one uh, but here are the swatches the one on the they both have really nice sheens and I feel like the one on the left, which is Wish Me Luck, would work probably better as a highlighter. It almost disappears into my skin. Um, and it was pretty flaky when I uh, was swatching it. Although they both feel really nice in the pan. Uh, and then this one I'm kind of excited about. And I think it would also work really well as an eyeshadow too. Um, I'll keep on working with these. The more I look at it from this view, I kind of like it better. Um, but I was, yeah, my initial reaction was disappointment, actually. Um, but still pretty. Hey, it's Saturday. It's been a rainy day. We've been home all day. Just cuddling. This is Daisy. Say hi. Do you see yourself? That's you. That's you. <laughs> oh. Here's Amy. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. And that's the two personalities. I just got back from um, our evening activities. We decided to eat first and we went to this new Vietnamese restaurant. It's spelled L-U-A. And it's so good. It's our second time going. You know, we tried different stuff uh, each time and highly, highly recommend. It's If you're familiar with the Edison, New Jersey area, it's where the H Mart and Paris Baguette, they're building so many new places there. It's becoming a happening spot. But the parking and driving situation, 
I know it's a stereotype, but just the driving is is bad. It is bad. Um, so anyway, the restaurant was really, really good. And if you get a chance to go, I would go. It's on the pricier side, but I feel like it's worth it because you get a good amount of food and um, it tastes really fresh. It doesn't taste like processed food or anything. I mean, some of it's probably processed, but it, it just tastes really fresh. And then we decided to go to the mall and I had to return something at Old Navy, an online order. And then we stopped by Uniqlo. I was trying to think of what to get my sister's boyfriend. They have back-to-back -back birthdays at the beginning of October. I got him, oh, almost hit me, hit me in the face with this. Uh, I got him this ultra warm heat tech shirt. It has a uh, fleece, like very light fleece on the inside. He's a cold little boy, so I decided to get him something that will keep him warm. Um, my sister, I also got her um, a pair of sneakers because her sneakers have uh, adult, her Adidas Ultra Boost that I got her for Christmas a few years ago have got holes in them at the toes, so I decided to get her a new pair. Um, it was on sale at Dick's, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then I got them a few odds and ends from Timu. And then we decided to go to Lowe's. We, we were looking for a lawnmower, but we have to do a bit more re research since it is a pricier uh, purchase. Uh, all the good ones, it seems like, are around like 600 probably higher. So we're going to start saving for that, and maybe we'll get it at Costco. Uh, but we did decide to get this. Uh, we do have a pair, but um, this seems like it's a little bit stronger. And we want something that you can still hold in your hand because there's a bunch of them that you have to like hold it like this. Um, so we decided to get this instead and now we are home uh, Steve's gonna go walk the dogs I'll drive them when they come back but it's it's just been a really wet 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 day and it's so nice that we were able to spend most of it at home and it wasn't so bad when we went out it's just really really wet which is not always so comfortable uh, but yeah we had a great evening and now we're just gonna relax I thought I might play with makeup I'm really interested in I mean, I showed you these yesterday, but we're kind of playing around with these and just, you know, chilling and um, enjoying the evening at home. Well, the rest of the evening. It's nighttime. We should be going to sleep soon. Look what came in. It's my Timu package. I'm not going to do a haul here. Um, I wasn't expecting it for another few days, actually. Um, and I think this is just part one of three they had to split it into three packages for some reason and the other two aren't gonna have a bunch of stuff in there i think it's like one item in each package uh, that i'm still expecting but i'm super excited and i'm definitely gonna be doing another haul uh coming up Uh, the sashimi was really good, the crab legs, um, but some of the other stuff, the hot food, was not. I was not that impressed with, um, but overall pretty good. Taking the dogs out this morning and it's wet, 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 right Ava? She hates anything to do with water. Look, flooding right there, but that's per usual. Oh, there's like pockets of wet, and when you have a corgi, God, look at my shoes, what a mistake. I have to go around. Hi, there she goes. Look, she doesn't care. Did she go poop poop? I didn't follow her, so I can't tell if she went poop poop or not. Let me go see. I gotta walk around. Oh, waiting for me to go inside, uh, but I'm doing the dish. I'm putting away the dishes, having a little bit of my cold brew, and. Um, I'm gonna just do things that I would normally do on a Sunday because today is my Sunday. We have off from work uh, because of Yom Kippur and I'm gonna put my clothes away that I haven't put away all week and all, just all that stuff uh, to get ready for tomorrow. 
oh, you know, I woke up at 6 a.m. to get gas. It was hilarious because I was like, you know what? Let me see, like, what the crowd is like on a Monday morning. There was maybe, like, a handful of cars, and I was even surprised at that. Um, so that's done. I, it, I, it was either this this morning or I was going to do it really late at night. Um, so I'm glad that is over with. And we passed by that Costco yesterday on Sunday to get gas, but we're it was you couldn't move so we just went around and said maybe next time because sundays are the absolute worst for getting gas Ooh, it's bad my sister's birthday gift came in or her, her main the main big part of her gift and it's these ultra adidas ultra boost i got them from dicks they were on sale i'm super excited because i think i had mentioned that hers or maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. L video lines are blurring because I'm trying to film like more than one. Anyway, uh, so hers have holes in them. And these are by far the most comfortable shoes that I've ever owned. I have at least five or six pairs. Um, and I couldn't help myself. I ordered these for me as well. Although the color looks way darker in person than it does online. But the more I'm looking at it, the more I like it. Uh, so I'll have to try them on and see. But I'm so excited. I have all of the gifts ready. Um, and yeah, this was a surprise. I wasn't. I didn't know it was coming today. Uh, so I'm super excited that the package came and it wasn't sitting out there all wet. Um, yeah, things are happening, moving. My order came. My food delivery came already. And I got a sausage and fried egg on a Kaiser roll. Um, and my sister, I got her one with ham and cheese on the same type of bread. But it's really, really good. And I'm so glad it's here. It's raining still, but this is making my day. I decided to make my breakfast for tomorrow. It's chia seed pudding. And I know it's a bit early, uh, but chia seed pudding is one of those things that just tastes better the longer it sits, I feel like, or have it soak for as long as possible. Um, and I wanted to share with you the recipe that I use for one, and then also some tips and tricks. Okay, so this recipe, I didn't shake it yet, and I do recommend shaking it shaking the chia seed in whatever liquid you have um, I find that if I don't do that it doesn't mix as well but in here is one tablespoon of chia seed pudding a fourth cup and maybe a tablespoon of any type of milk I'm using whole milk but you could use I've tried this with oat milk and it works just as well um, I put maybe a teaspoon or less of maple syrup and this is I had gotten maple syrup in Montreal in a can so I put it into this bottle of a drink that we had gotten there as well um, and my tip is to put saran wrap on, on maple syrup it could probably work with honey as well it just keeps it I don't know why or how, but it just keeps it from sticking, the cap sticking to the bottle. And, well, I mean, we kind of all know how. <laughs> uh, the saran wrap is um, making it less sticky, but I swear by it. I've done that for a long time, and it works really well. Um, and then I put as many strawberries um, that I thought I would need for my breakfast tomorrow and sometimes I tend to pick out the strawberries and I mean I'll have the chia seed pudding most of it but I can't ever finish it. I started off with like three tablespoons and like a cup of milk and that was just way too much. I had it for days. Um, yeah this is going to be my breakfast for tomorrow and I gotta start thinking about my lunch. I, we order out. Um, I might just uh, take leftovers from that or make a salad or something. I just brushed Daisy's hair with this new equine groomer that I bought from Timu. And then I just decided that I'm gonna take the pictures and uh, post reviews, just initial reviews. And then I usually go back and update them. Uh, but yeah, I have a whole bag I showed you of stuff that I want to uh, take pictures of and upload to the app. Since we can't go outside, I'm trying to do some mental stimulation, especially for this one. Ava can handle being inside and just not doing much, but Daisy is, she needs some uh, more enrichment. So I put very tiny treats in each one of those, um, and she has to figure it out <laughs> without breaking it.
Yay, she got one. <laughs> I'm going to end the vlog now. I am getting ready for tomorrow. I picked up my outfit. I got my work bags together. Um, I still have to think about what I want for lunch. It's about four. Um, so I still have some time and we still have to order dinner because I didn't pull anything from the freezer. I was being bad today. Um, and then I have to shower still, which I'll probably do in the next hour or so. Um, I finished my reviews for Timu. That takes a bit of time just because I take pictures from all angles and write a little bit of something for each item. Although I can't write too much because I just received the item. And the Timu is weird. You write a review, but sometimes things get discontinued and you can't find the item to review or your review is gone. Um, so sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time, but I don't know. Um, I know that I look at the reviews, so they're kind of important to me and hopefully my reviews help other people out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon.